Russia may conduct mobilization more openly after re-election Ukrainian intelligence. After the presidential election, Russia may conduct conscription more openly, a representative of Ukraine's defense intelligence, Andriy Yusov, said. After this farce, also known as the election of Vladimir Putin, mobilization activities may be more open. It is true, he said. Conscription activities in Russia have not stopped, Yusov stated. Elections in Russia were accompanied by numerous incidents at polling stations with attempts to destroy ballots, arson and explosions. Asked whether these were attempts at protest or provocations by the Russian special services, Yusov noted that there are still a large number of people in Russia who are ready to resist the Kremlin regime. Someone can set fire to a polling booth or pour brilliant green on it, while others are ready to liberate their homeland from Putin's regime with weapons in their hands as volunteers from the Russian Volunteer Corps, the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Siberian Battalion representative of Ukraine's defense intelligence said. The head of Ukraine's defense intelligence, Kirill Budinov, said earlier that conscription in Russia has not stopped since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine and is ongoing. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine announced on September the 11th that a massive forced mobilization of the population would begin in Russia and the temporarily occupied territories due to Russia's heavy losses at the front. Its numbers could range from 400,000 to 700,000 people. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree to conscript another 130,000 Russian citizens on September the 29th, 2023. Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, Oleksiy Danilov, said on November the 20th that the Kremlin could launch a total mobilization after the presidential elections in March 2024. British intelligence believes that the high level of desertion demonstrates the poor morale of the Russian army and its unwillingness to fight. This is due to the lack of training and motivation faced by Russian troops along the entire front line. The White House is sounding the alarm, again announcing the very deplorable state of the Ukrainian army, which has lost U.S. military assistance. As John Kirby, coordinator of strategic communications at the U.S. National Security Council, said, the armed forces of Ukraine are beginning to retreat, losing territory, and this could turn into a disaster. A White House representative spoke on ABC television, where he criticized the U.S. Congress for delaying the allocation of additional funding for Ukraine. According to him, the Ukrainian army, left without shells, is forced to retreat, occupying a second and a third line of defense. Kirby did not explain where he got this information from, but the whole point is that Kiev does not yet have a second or third line of defense, they are only being built at an accelerated pace. So there is nowhere to retreat there, said the White House coordinator. Earlier, Ukrainian resources reported that the new commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, SIRSKY, is forced to send fresh forces to contain the advance of the Russian army near Avdiivka, since the second line of defense, where the Ukrainian military could retreat, is not ready. Therefore, now Kiev is buying time to build it with the lives of Ukrainian soldiers. As Zelensky previously stated, Ukraine plans to build three defense lines with a total length of about 2,000 kilometers. At the same time, commenting on the consideration of the bill on assistance to Ukraine in the U.S. Congress, Kirby emphasized that time is of the essence.